Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Here is a quick peek at our snowy day bundle. We have the Peaceful Flake stamp set coordinating cookie cutter dies. We have the delicate snowflake die, that's a standalone die cut. The thank you layered sentiment die and the snowy day pattern paper, which gives you your color palette. And it's all that jazz, Aquatini, Fiesta Blue, Juniper Mist, Something Borrowed, and It's a Boy. So your color palette is already done for you, which makes it really easy. We're gonna use some of those products in today's video. We're also gonna use the dotted circles dies and I am going to cut out some white cardstock. When this runs through with those dotted circles, you get um, textured dots all along the edge, which is a fun little texture to add to your cards. And then I am going to cut out a, a circle frame out of the striped snowy day paper. And I'm going to adhere that to a window sheet or, a, or like a transparency or clear acetate piece that was die cut with the same size dotted circle die. And this is going to make the shaker, the piece that holds all of my sequins in. So I'm taking dimensional adhesive and I cut it into thin strips and then I'm just uh, creating a barrier all the way around that circle so that when I add in all my sequins, they won't fall out. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping before I put that shaker piece together. So I'm doing Merry and Bright and Juniper Mist in the middle of that dotted circle die cut. Actually, when I end up putting my card together, you can see those dots, but you can see how they're really fun to add to a card. And then I stamped the snowflake and I lined it up so that I could stamp the snowflake again in almost the same place so that it looks like it just goes off the paper. And then I'm gonna use Fiesta Blue, stamp a couple more snowflakes in there. And then it's a boy and stamp a smaller one. And I'm just creating a fun little snowy scene here. So next part is my favorite, adding in the sequins. This is the Aspen mix. I was thinking about doing it onto the Miriam Bright piece, but then I was like, why would I do that? Cause then if I pour the sequins into the piece that has the bumper all the way around, I know that all of those sequins are gonna be inside and not get stuck onto my um, sticky adhesive. <laughs> so now I have a piece of snowy day patterned paper and I'm going to add that to a card front. Now, if you want a paper saving tip, a lot of that is covered up. So you could cut it so that you can save that extra little bit that got cut up, covered up by my white layer piece, <laughs> but I didn't do that. So some liquid adhesive on the back of my shaker piece, and I'll just adhere that right over my stamped snowy background. And that's it for this card. Pretty quick and easy shaker card, right? Shaker cards are always so impressive to the recipient. So I encourage you to try one if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I hope you have an awesome day and you'll subscribe to my channel and you'll be back soon. Bye.